Well, Ellen, I've finally done it. I've joined TikTok. Oh, nice. I'm yes. Just watching some of my stuff right now. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, have you seen the craze that's on there? It's yeah. called Smash or Pass. Uh huh. You've seen it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought we could do that for show of the weekend, but with Dark Souls bosses. Really? Yeah. How? Um, how? Yeah, because uh, as I understand it, the question is: Will you smash them with your sword, or will you pass them a charming bouquet of flowers uh, because you want to date them? I won't tell him. Tell me what. Show of the weekend. 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 Yeah, we're talking about what Dark Souls bosses you would date. So these are my tools. These are your options, you can hold them. Um, these can get the price towards camera on this, because <laughs> I paid eight pounds for these. You see it? Do you want to uh. do zoom, John? Or... <laughs> make it look chill, don't make it look like I'm trying to focus on the price, just in a... Okay. Yeah, okay. alright, tell, okay. yeah, tell me when you're zoomed. Are, you, are you zoomed in now? It's a nice tasteful zoom. You're zoomed in now. Oh no, I forgot to take the sticker. I take that off, Ellen. God, turn that off. God, crass much. Yeah, I've got money to buy eight pound flowers, but I don't want everyone knowing about it. <laughs> can I peel it off then? Yeah, you can peel it off now. <laughs> okay. Why don't we just take that and just th throw that away? <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready. You're ready to smash or pass. <laughs> yeah. Brackets then with your sword. A lovely bouquet of flowers. Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, with Dark Souls bosses. Ellen, Dark Souls author Miyazaki famously described the bosses in these games as doomed to a slow and possibly endless descent into ruin. But does that mean there's no room for love, mm. for passion, for romance? <gasps> I have the dating profiles of some Dark Souls bosses and Ellen, uh, we are going to decide whether or not we want to smash them with your sword or pass them a lovely bouquet of flowers. <laughs> okay, first, let's get rid of that. Start doing it. Uh, first. <laughs> An animal lover mm -hmm. who owns a garden property in the up-and-coming Lower Undead Burg. This candidate describes Ooh. themselves as, as athletic and having two machetes. It's the Capra Demon! Uh. Oh, okay, quite a negative reaction okay. there. Two yeah. dogs, you like dogs. Yeah, I love dogs. Two of them. Yeah. Capra Demon's but got. He's not a very good owner. He's not properly trained his dogs. When I first went into his property, the dogs tried to murder me. What if they were trained to attack you? Is that yeah, well that, that could that's, still be bad. Yeah, that's bad yeah. training okay. still. Trained them well for bad reasons. To, for ba to, to, do, bad, to do bad to do, to do awful crimes. Um also a lot of stairs in that property, uh which um Oh yeah, there are, yeah. You know, not many banisters on those stairs either. No. Not great. It says a garden property, but it's like, you know, it's, it's like a, a central London garden, which yeah. is like just a little square with yeah. some with no paint, sunlight. No sunlight, yeah. nothing. Yeah. Anything, it's just yeah. There's a lot of fog by the door. Yeah. So <laughs> So you won't it sounds like you're not going to be accessing the key to the depths no. of the Capra Demon's heart. No, is I'm it going a smash? Smash Smash the Capra Demon. <laughs> Smash. With the sword. Okay, With Capra sword. Demon, you're out of here. No one wants to date you. Okay. Also, two swords overcompensating. I should say. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, sort yourself out, Capra Demon. Mm -hmm. Be nicer to your dogs. All right, that's fine. Mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Not enough that's room fine. for the dogs as well. That's not enough room for them to exercise. Yeah. Please take them out for walks. Exactly. Up and down the, up and down the berg. Okay. And taking them out for walks in that area when there's assassins everywhere. Our next candidate. <laughs> a passionate scientist and scholar, this Ooh. candidate will have you chasing your tail. As <laughs> tall as he is immortal, and not that money changes everything, but he is a duke. It's Seath the Scaleless. Oh. <laughs> Come on then, what's wrong with Seath? Um, look, I'm all for, you know, public nudity in designated spaces. 
Ellen's always um, saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, your nude speech and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But all the time. Why should Seek bit... have to wear clothes? Seek has been around for a very long time. Well, he's also wearing clothes, just scales, just, you know. Oh, okay, of course, because he is, he is technically scaleless. nude. He is yes, technically you're right. a nude dragon. Yeah, he could maybe a, maybe like a, a tasteful cloth or a... Yeah, a little a drape yeah. or something. I mean, like yeah. It, yeah, not a fan. I'd be really worried about putting any nice hardwood flooring down if we lived together, just in case, like, all the crystals came up whenever he took a particularly large stomp. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. I mean, imagine paying yeah. for, like, parquet flooring and then he just, like, steps on it. Done. Like, oh, oh, yeah. See, just had that done. Do you know how much that costs now? Also, Ellen, I know that fidelity is is, is so important in a relationship, uh -huh. and see, uh, did betray the dragons to yeah, Gwyn. Yeah, couldn't trust them. Uh, yeah, and what well, you, you know, trust is the most important thing in any relationship. And some would whether say that, that be you know platonic or romantic, it, it's yeah. whether you can trust that person. Go against your whole entire species. And once someone has betrayed the dragons to Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, they're gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do it again, mm -hmm. folks. I'm, sure. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Smash. Also, the experiments that Seath does. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, uh, experiments. Resulted in many like... mistakes that Seath kept locked away in his dungeons. So yeah, I don't. Quite bad stuff. Okay, it sounds like. Secret dungeons are usually a red flag. <laughs> Yeah. And it comes to death. Usually. <laughs> with, there's with, an asterisk. Yeah. Well, you know, there's some non-terrifying ones, but like, you know. Sure. Okay, it sounds like if it's, it's got other if it's got unspeakable horrors in it, that's usually not great. Yeah, again, usually asterisk. Usually. It sounds like we're ready to <laughs> smash Seath. Smash. Oh, smash. already smashed ages ago. Oh right, okay. Smash. Don't ruin my parquet floor. <laughs> Ellen, mm -hmm. loyalty is the key virtue for this lone wolf who's looking for a new abyss walker with whom to share long walks in the moonlight. It's Great Grey Wolf Sith. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. And it screeches my ear. Oh, yeah. Okay, we would date great grey wolf Sif. Yeah. I, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to air it anyway, because I feel like it needs to be said. Is there an argument to say that great grey wolf Sif is needy? Because it's like Artorius, Sif's owner, has been dead for like hundreds of years, right? And Sif is like still hanging around by the grave. I'm sorry, if I get married and then I die horribly, you want your so I you want, want my your partner, partner to stay by, my by the grave every single for day. eternity. Yeah, I God, want my yeah, okay. look. We, I want my okay. partner to be like Grey Friars Bobby <laughs> and stay there. Sure. Have then a statue of them showing you know because they were so loyal to me and they loved me so much. Uh, okay. You know. Well, that's the fine. The internet is a thing. It's fine. They can still do things from there. <laughs> yeah. You can still be on Instagram yeah. from the grave, as long yeah. as it's got good Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. People bring you a constant stream of like charging yeah. you know, power bricks. Yeah. Okay, oh, alright. No, no, no. I would just have make I would make sure that my grave had an, an electric your, your socket. Yeah. No, then you'll get people like writing their screenplay. <laughs> oh no, that'd be great. Imagine like next top Hollywood blockbuster. That was written on my grave though. Sounds awful, Ellen. <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry. You're gonna, you're gonna order. A, are you, you're gonna order. A, or it wouldn't be order a coffee. You'd be like, sorry. Are you going to remember the departed? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be uh, protected by a code that only my uh, dearest beloved would ever be able to use. Yeah. Smash. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> sm smash. Sif. Okay, well, we're torn there. I think, mm -hmm. move on, Sif, it's weird. But that's fine, different strokes of different folks. So I'm you're like, gonna- Yeah, I don't mind as long as they then also do it for me. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna pass. I will smash the Great Wolf. <laughs> next, Ellen, put on your dancing shoes and practice those groovy moves for our next candidate, a direct descendant of royalty who nevertheless loves to strut her stuff. Will you pirouette into passion with the Dancer of the Boreal Valley? Oh. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Very little hesitation there. You know what? I love a church wedding. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they yeah, would yeah, definitely yeah. agree for that. You know, is in the cathedral, the cathedral of the deep cathedral wedding? Are you kidding me? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the first dance would be outstanding. Yeah, if anyone survived. Yeah. <laughs> there were not many right, people right. would be there to tell about <laughs> it. Like, everyone could just spread out. Yeah. We, need, we need a lot of room here. Just your new spouse Woo! whirling with death. <laughs> No, it's fine. They put down the swords and they would just wheel me around. I'd be like, Yay! Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Put you in their arms like instead Titanic. of the swords. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good way to get your shoulders dislocated. Yeah, maybe worth it. It'd be lots of fun. <laughs> Wait, which bit Titanic was that? Oh, I know the bit. Yeah, yeah I know the bit. Yeah. <laughs> Only like, when did my Titanic feet would be off get, the floor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> About 10 feet on the floor. Sparks fly when you tangle with our next candidate, though applicants for a date must be comfortable with storm drakes and not have any respiratory issues that could be exacerbated by fog. Lock on to our next candidate as best you can. Say yes and go soaring with the Nameless King. It's a tricky one, I can tell. Everything so far has been an immediate visceral reaction. Yeah, as of filming, I'm having some problems with the Nameless King mm. in the but, he's absolutely kicking my ass. But, but are those problems that make the Nameless King undateable, or does it just show how strong and committed the Nameless King is, in this mm. case, to killing you violently, mm -hmm. but, but potentially in a relationship to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to, to being steadfast and to doing like two holidays a year minimum? Yeah. And you know what? He does have like, he does have a cool feathery dragon. Yeah. Which I would like to, you know. She would like to date in secret as no. well. No, <laughs> I'd like to have a ride on the dragon with him. Like, I right. could show you the world. Yes. That, you know, oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Whole yeah. new world. Yeah. You can't see that bit because it's covered in fog. <laughs> Don't you dare close your eyes or lose lock on because yeah. I will ruin your day. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Because the thing is, I still am really enjoying the fight. It's kind of like that, you mm. know. Just want to get one more look at those, frenemies. That, that little skull face. A little bit, you know. You, yeah, it's yeah, that yeah. thing where you can, you know, you don't like each other at first. Yeah, yeah, while, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. spend so much time sparring that you get to know one another. Yeah, you're doing that anime and thing where you're like, oh, nameless king, idiot, hate uh, him, whatever, uh, whatever. Uh, oh god, yeah. And then he's like, everything okay? And you're like, oh, this king touched me. <laughs> Little red lines coming across yeah. here. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, that's that. We're dating the nameless king. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Got good stuff. hair as well. I know it's helped yeah. me, but like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's great. Oh, great helmet hair. Yeah, not many people have good helmet hair. No. He does because he just puts the hair on the helmet. Mm. So. You'll fall deep, and I mean abyss deep for this candidate. <laughs> Escape the darkness of a romance free life and drink deep from the goblet of love with High Lord Walnir. of which one wall there is. Now. Oh! <laughs> okay. Too big. Too tall. Too big. Well, High Lord Walnir asks that you don't body shame him for being a colossal skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I do prefer to date someone with skin. Okay. All right. Wow. In 2022, you see Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Skin is so important in yeah. a relationship. Yeah, I do like the, you know, skin to skin contact mm -hmm. is very important. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let me, but, I'm just putting this out there. Yeah. Lots of jewellery. <laughs> you could, you know, golden bracelets, <laughs> nice crown, could all be yours. Yeah, but I'm not, you know, 
I want substance, not... You want skin. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> I want skin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like this game anymore. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay. Oh, also, constantly living in the dark. I would fall over things all the time. It'd be an absolute nightmare. Yeah. And like, you turn around, like, with the one light source that you have, and you turn around, and he's just like, hello? <laughs> and like, oh, Jesus, giant skeleton out there. Yeah, nowhere. surprising Always you. Always got his friends around trying to beat you up as oh, well. Yeah, 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 not, yeah, yeah. not, mm -mm -mm. I need someone who has time just for me as well as their buddies. What if High Lord Walnir did that thing where he pops out at you from the darkness, but he's got breakfast? <laughs> I mean, I do love surprises. Big Trey has scrambled eggs. <laughs> you know I like poached Walnir, smash! Oh. <laughs> wow, Walnir, okay. <laughs> Walnir, I think you can do better, mate. I think you... Okay. Look, you know, sometimes you meet someone you think, I know that they would be really happy with someone else, not yeah, me. Sure, I don't think sure. I'm the right person. Sure, sure, okay. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't date High Lord Walnir either. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a smash for me also. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Our next candidate may seem cold, but brave the blizzard and you'll find a warm heart and a sharp scythe ready to harvest your love. <laughs> Presiding over the peaceful painted world of Ariamis, whose inhabitants she insists are kind, our next candidate is Crossbreed Priscilla. Okay. Crossbreed Priscilla, very, I would say, introverted, mm -hmm. spends most of her time at the far end of an inaccessible painting, mm -hmm. invisible. Mm -hmm. So do you worry that there would be like an emotional gulf there that you have to cross? Um, would it be too much emotional labour to get to know Crossbreed Priscilla potentially? <laughs> It might be, but you know, it might be one of those relationships where you do just end up friends because you know you can't connect to them as much. And it's, yeah. you know, I think we're better off just being there for each other in other ways, and that's totally fine. But I think I think it's worth a shot, if only to you know be that person who opens her up to more experiences and new things. Um, Gets her a little bit out of her, um, you know, comfort get, zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come out of your come out of your shell, shell a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But well, you know, no pressure or anything. But yeah. I just. You know, she's one of the only people in the Dark Souls series that goes, look, just leave. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, that's nice. We don't have to. And, and I, you know, she's very reasonable. So yeah. I think she is someone who can be reasoned with, who can be chatted to. And I think that is a good sign for communication in a relationship. Yeah, sure. That if she, like, has an issue, she'd be like, look, we've got two options here. Which one, you know, do you want? Communication. It's vital. So, I would also pass Priscilla the bouquet, but I killed her in my game. And I don't think... Um, I don't think she... Then we come back from that, yeah. yeah. I possibly ate her soul as well. Mm. Which, you know, is going to make it harder. Yeah. Not a great first date. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Finally, Ellen, <laughs> the final candidate. Oh, but I want more. You want, yeah, you want to do this forever. <laughs> I want to do this forever, yeah, genuinely. Just do the, yeah. Well, you know what? If, this, if people enjoy this, don't worry, there's more bosses. We'll also, do another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do another one. Well, there's another one. I just couldn't think of a um, sexy blind date style paragraph for pinwheel, but I know, I, I know, given, I know, given more time, I can come up with one. So, there, you know, we can do this again. Three's company when you tangle with our next candidates, who have achieved career success but are looking to make a love connection. Prepare to have your heart smashed flat by Dragon Slayer Ornstein and Executioner Smell. I know what you're thinking, do I have to date them both? Yes. They come as a pair. Sorry, I need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ellen, so one of these is an executioner, uh, yeah. you know, and one of them is a dragons, dragon slayer. That's pretty cool. Both high, pretty high and significant positions in the court. I'm not into dating more than one person at the same time. Some people like to date around and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people. I kind of give one person a shot at a time. Yeah. This could also be one of those situations where you're like, for example, dating Smau, but like Ornstein is their best friend who they've known for years and yeah. is like always there. Yeah. And you, you know, and like, and they don't really like you because they feel like you're getting in the way. Yeah. And you don't really like them because they I don't want to be the third wheel in my own relationship. No. Like, Ornstein and Smile should just date each other, really. I mean, yeah. 
shortly someone's made fan art of that. <laughs> <laughs> what I would do in this situation, oh. like... <laughs> Emoji oh, hang on. Um, this is surfaced a PC Gamer article called Here's What It Would Be Like to Date Dark Souls Bosses. <laughs> PC Gamer, we should collab. P PC Gamer, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they published it on Valentine's oh Day my this god. year. We're so focused on fighting them, why not imagine loving them instead? Mm -hmm. By Imogen Mella. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll oh, put, we love Emoji. Yeah, we'll put, we'll put a link. Um, me, me, me. It's all about me with Gaping Dragon. <laughs> Oh man, PC Gamer, you just did it. You did our thing better. <laughs> okay, so honesty and smell. I'm not hearing like a. It's well, yeah. I'm not into really, you know, dating executioners. Okay, Dragon right. Slayer is kind fussy of a bit much. cooler, but it's way like cool. still, like I kind of feel bad whenever I have to kill a dragon in a Soulsborne game. Bear in mind, if you opted for a long-term relationship yeah. with honesty and smell, yeah, then if like years and years and years down the road, something bad should befall one of them. You've the got another one as the a other background. one will smash them with a big hammer and become a big as the two of yeah them. and absorb them yeah. uh, for an extra lease of life. So you know that could be, that could be useful. You get sort of a backup version of your partner mm. potentially. Is there any way you could speed up that process? <laughs> I mean, yeah, sprinkle yeah. a little something in the tea. It's flavourless, scentless. One, that's easier. Okay, okay, cool. All right, all right, they're undateable. Well, hi. They're undateable. No, what I would do in this situation, I would pass Ornstein the flowers and be like, give this a smell. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. And set them up. That's nice. And then smash And then smell would be like... <laughs> <laughs> and smash Ornstein. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, well, that was dozens of minutes of us talking about dating Dark Souls bosses. <laughs> yes. um, and we barely scratched the surface of the Dark Souls bosses. We've got Elden Ring, Bloodborne, Demon Souls. <laughs> you know, ah. Vicar Amelia, Godric the Grafted. Mm -hmm. The so Orphan of God. The Orphan of God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so let us know if you want us to do this again. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm happy either way. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.